Now let's get some rapid-fire response from our panel on these stories. I'll get their take on Dr. Laura's new gig and whatever righty talkers. Why do they just get free reign on whatever they want to say on the air? The latest WikiLeak is a huge embarrassment for the State Department and a security breach. The Obama administration has vowed to prosecute, and Republican Congressman Peter King wants to declare WikiLeaks a foreign terrorist organization. And the nonpartisan Southern Poverty Law Center has classified the Conservative Christian Family Research Council as a hate group for the anti-gay for their anti-gay views. For more, let's go to Bill Press and also Michael Medved, both syndicated, nationally syndicated radio talk show hosts. Gentlemen, good to have you with us tonight. Dr. Thank Laura, you. let's let's do the in-house business first. Bill Press, <laughs> uh, she gets a deal. What does this mean? Yeah, Ed, you said it, Al Sharpton said it. Look, there's, there's, if you or, or I, Ed, either one of us said something like that, we, w we would have been fired in a New York second. There's a total double standard for the right-wingers. The more racism, the uglier they are, the more jobs they get, the more contracts they get. Uh, as Al said, it, it's disgusting. I, I don't want to kick anybody off the radio, but, and she's got the free speech to say whatever she wants. She doesn't have the right to say that kind of ugly talk on the radio. Okay, she didn't, she, first of all, she apologized for using the N-word. If you actually listen to what she said, it was stupid, it was badly handled. She was talking to a woman who was married to a white guy who felt very uncomfortable at some family gathering, and she was trying to inquire what it was that made the woman feel uncomfortable. But what can we this expect in the future, Michael? She says, I'm so Michael. overjoyed to be in an arena where I can expand yeah. my format. What's that mean? Well, I, I think what she's talking about is the last time people were launched a jihad against Dr. Laura. Which is when uh, what? she said. No, 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 Michael, no she was which, talking which about to, this time the uh, N word, I, Michael. I, I come don't on, don't she, defend she the N word. She does not defend, she's not going to use the N word, and she didn't huh? defend it. She apologized for it. Look, when Jesse Jackson. 11 times? When Jesse Michael, Jackson. 11 times? When Jesse Jackson used the term Jaime Town, and I'm going to go get money from Jaime, he apologized. And it was fine. I defended Jesse he Jackson. Is, he is, okay, Michael, and, and Jesse on. Jackson is a more important public figure than Dr. Laura. They he reward the point is, wrong Michael, to single her right. out for this kind the of The point shooting. is, it's, it's not just Dr. Laura. It's also Rush Limbaugh. I mean, the racism you hear from these guys, and they get away with it. I mean, okay, again, okay, so, so total when you say get away with it, right are, are you, are, do you believe that political speech should be censored, Bill? I, I assume you don't. I, I well, think there should be some hate speech and political speech. The difference between hate speech and political speech is hate speech is speech that encourages violence against as people. A talk show and Dr. Host, Laura Michael, never engaged in that, and Rush is never engaged in that. Michael, it's you would not use that language. People. You would not use that language. Absolutely I would not. not. Ed would not. There should be standards across the board. For I agree okay, with final you. question on this was... issue. Final question on this issue. Michael Medved, are you saying that you think that Dr. Laura will never use the N-word on satellite radio? Absolutely not. She okay. will never uh -huh. touch the N-word. Uh, okay. You know what? And by the way, Michael, you can go yan, 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 Medved if she ever does. Uh -huh. All right. You know what? She bragged today that she's glad to be on satellite radio so she can say anything she they reward you free, you were, you were they reward substance. true free speech? Yeah, you know, well, uh, I, I just think that there's a double standard. But, of course, she's going to be in an area where she can say well, she can even use the F-bomb if she wants to. All right, the WikiLeaks, <laughs> huge embarrassment for the State Department. Hillary Clinton has come out and, and made a statement, but probably one that was caught everybody's attention. This is a congressman from New York, mm -hmm. Peter King. Here it is. If American lives are at risk, and every uh, top uh, military official has said that, then we have to be serious. We should go after them for violating the Espionage Act. And the reason I say foreign terrorist organization because they are engaged in terrorist activity. Their activity is enabling terrorists. Bill Press, what do you think? Are they foreign terrorist uh, organization? Look, you know, I got a different take on this, Ed. I mean, they're not Al Qaeda. They're not a foreign terrorist organization, as far as I'm concerned. You know what that means? That means we can hunt them down and assassinate them anywhere in the world. That means we can send drones against them. We could waterboard them. Look, I've yet to see. I've read a lot of that stuff. Yet to see any real damage done or real any real harm to the United States. I think the American people have a right to know what our government is up Mike? to. I, I, I don't think that the American people have a right to uh, private diplomatic channels. Look, a, any government to conduct diplomacy needs to have a fair assurance of privacy. Now, are they rightly classified as a terrorist organization? No. To me, it cheapens the designation terrorist, which, again, should be reserved so for King people is wrong? who are involved in violence. Yes, King is wrong. Okay. Of course now, he's now, wrong. But, uh, aren't you gentlemen, as I am, somewhat intrigued by, we got all these countries around the world that think that we ought to be taking care of the Iranians. 
that you know we can't yeah. make we yeah. can't make anything in America anymore, but we can sure as hell well, be the police well, at agent. Least, at least we found some areas of agreement between Israel and most of the Arab states. Well, well, right, right. Even the Saudis. Well, why our dollars? Why Iranians? our kids? Why our kids? Why no, no, our no, no, dollars? No, 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 you know? no, no. I, 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 again, that's that's the agreement between Israel and the Arab states is recognizing that only the United States is powerful enough to do something, and God willing, it won't be military about the Iranian nuclear threat. You know, and the only problem with these WikiLeaks, I think, is that the State Department is embarrassed by some of the things that were said about Sarkozy or Angela Merkel or whatever, and, you know, that's the way, that's the way people gossip. Big deal. So there's no security threat whatsoever, agents being... Uh Exposed in conversations, you lose your credibility in uh, in, in dealing in diplomacy when you know you have a, well, a, a conversation if, with somebody and, and you don't know I, if it's going to end I would, up. What I would say is our security is directly threatened by Iran developing nuclear weapons and making those weapons available to terrorist organizations like their clients Hezbollah and Hamas. Mm -hmm. Th that is a very very real security threat. And to the extent that the WikiLeaks right. make it much more difficult to assemble a coalition against Iran, yes, it's a serious setback. I don't think it does make it more difficult. I think, listen, if we got into their cables, we'd find out that they were saying some pretty uh, kind of uncomfortable things maybe about American leaders. Well, so the conservatives have that. said everything they possibly can about President Obama. What you else is it. new? <laughs> yeah, Bill Preston, Michael Medved, good to have you guys with us tonight. <laughs> Thanks right, so much.